So now in this video, we have the uh, op amp. I'm using the LM358, one out of uh, two of them in this integrated circuit. And uh, we have it wired as an inverting comparator. So our reference voltage is going to the non-inverting pin. That's a steady voltage. It's a percentage of the supply voltage. And uh, our change in voltage is the light dependent resistor voltage divider here going to the inverted input. So now enough uh, light is falling on it. We have a higher voltage than our reference voltage, but the output is low. You can see the blue LED is lit up even though it's coming from the positive supply there. If we get it uh, dark enough, I can either cover it, put the lamp at the lowest setting right there, or off altogether. There you can see the output went high. I gotta get it brighter to uh, go low again. So now we got a higher uh, signal voltage, output is low. Now we have a lower signal voltage than the reference uh, voltage. Let's go back to that. And the output is high. And now we'll uh, get a little bit closer look there. We have our signal, as I said before, going to the inverting input. Uh, recent videos, our signal was going to the non-inverting input. So brighter light equaling a higher uh, voltage meant there was a high output. Now we have the opposite. Um, so that's all we did. We shuffled these so that we would flip what happens to the output when we have the same change at uh, the input. So high in equals low out, and then uh, low in equals high out right there. That's all we did. Um, always pay attention to which uh, side the plus and the minus is on, on uh, either top or bottom. We got plus on top there, minus below, but on the physical component, the plus, the non-inverting is actually below the inverting right there. And uh, I use uh, this a lot for uh, indicating whether the output's high or low, so I'm not going to go over that a whole lot. So there you can see we have to uh, power it, whether they show that on schematic or not, positive to 8 and uh, negative to 4, and I uh, got 5 volts at the supply. There's our fixed uh, voltage right there. So I went to this negative supply so that I didn't have to uh, put this terminal um, near where these other things are plugged into a uh, positive because that might cause a short uh, circuit. So you can see that pretty well there. And then you can see the two resistors coming from the output. And um, so there you can see I got it dark enough when I got my hand over it to set the output high. And now it's bright enough uh, where the output is low. And then so shooting straight across, inverting input now so that we get an inverted output from what we're getting at the input when it's comparing the two. Um, there you can see light pin resistor on the high side. So brighter light makes it conduct better, raises its voltage, sets the output low. And there you can see we got the 3K resistor there, which helps sense, uh, sets the sensitivity. So right at this point, the uh, red LED lights up. And I can also get the lamp closer um, to make some adjustments. But now it's dim enough right now that we got a higher resistance there than uh, right there. So it pulled the voltage down a little bit below 2.5 volts that uh, spot that we set there. So um, if we put a lower value resistor there, then we could have a brighter lamp, you know, that's one setting up a 2.2K resistor, it would still be red right there. And also if I put a 10K resistor in there, a higher resistance, now the output would be low until I got it this dark. We looked at that in the last video, but I'll just briefly mention it again. So in any case, uh, that's it for this circuit. Um, hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos and post on the screen and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.